Hello everybody, my name is Caretaker, and I am finally back! I apologize for going on such a huge hiatus, but there's absolutely no way I could not do a video for Killing Floor 2, which my friend was gracious enough to give me a beta key that he won. So we're gonna jump right into this. Actually, before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the perks. I am a field medic. This means I will be healing. They've changed how all this stuff works. As you can see, dealing medic weapon damage and healing teammates is how you level up now. You can see the experience needed up here. It's not that bad actually it only bumps up a little bit after every level so it's really easy to level now of course berserkers melee commandos obviously assault rifles support shotties and welding and whatnot so let's see they've changed out you know how customization works as well as you can see this is mr foster he's a returning character but you can see his oh it's a little mixed match you can see i can change it to different stuff this is his original outfit right here Personally, I like my mate Skelly. You can also get a Dosh one if you had a PC gamer issue from back in like May or something like that. But, you know, just in class. Just to match the London look. But I'm going to go with KF Blue, my mate Skelly. I'll show you the other characters are. We got Donovan Neal, Hayako Tanaka, PC Rob Breyer, Lieutenant Bill Masterson, and Reverend Alberts. Now, I'm not going to waste any time going through those. I know a few people want to see that stuff, but I'm going to jump right into it. I don't know what I'm going to get thrown on or what difficulty, so we shall see. I've played a few rounds, as you can see, I'm level 2. I was going to record my first match, but I had people talking, and I was in a Skype chat with some people. Or TeamSpeak, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to have them coming through as well, so... For some reason, it put me into an empty server. Let's not have that. <laughs> Well, the one thing that's really cool is if you're in a server alone like that, it'll actually scale the game down to you, so you don't have to worry about just getting utterly screwed over. So let's see if we can't find an early one. Okay, Burning Paris. I kind of want to find something in somewhere else. Burning Paris. I think it's Burning Paris. I really like Outpost. I have to say Outpost is one of my favorite maps. As you can see, since most of them are full... See if I can't find something that's on wave one. Hmm. Well. Now let's do Biotics Lab. So I'm going to have to wait out of the round because you're going to be in the middle of what we're doing around right now. But here's what it looks like from here. You can see your squad. You can invite teammates, of course. You can check your perks. Now what's cool is you actually get these new talents and stuff. I'll leave this in for a little bit. Since I will be going field medic, I will be able to heal. I can keep my, I can boost my health by 20%, or I can get extra ammo. I'm probably gonna go with ammo just because I don't know. It's a starting ammo capacity by 20% for your per perk and backup weapons. I don't know if that's just starting off with a round or what, but I'm probably gonna go with that. I mean, 20% health is nice, but it's not that much. I mean, like 120. Oh look, I'm actually gonna jump right in. Nice. Looks like I just ready up when they finish round. Nice. In the case you're wanting to talk to someone, you just gotta hit V. Oh, there's a weapon. There's a weapon. Oh. Nice. Damn, maybe I should have gotten Berserker. Really? I was like, am I about to get stuck here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, man. Let's see. I'm just gonna get some ammo. Definitely wanna load up on some armor. Now, to heal people, you gotta press the mouse, middle mouse, and it'll do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Yes. Weapons like that will actually scale through at the end of the round. So, normally I would use a medic weapon, but we're going to have to see. Because, like I said, it does scale. As you can see, 122. If I were solo, there would only be about 20 of them. What isn't bad. It's a lot of fun. And as you can see, in that time, ev all the color gets drained. Let's see. Everybody's full health. Okay, we're good. And the best way I can describe this is it plays almost exactly like Killing Floor. It's it's Killing Floor, but better in every way. The Zeds look awesome. The guns feel awesome. The game feels awesome. Oh, that's what we got this for. Like you, you can see her face peeling off. how nice this animation is and now that we got people low I'm gonna go ahead and start healing people up 
Uh, when you hear it clicking like that, it means it's locking on to someone. Of course, locking onto the head is the best way to go. You can see the invisible bitches are a lot harder to see now. For those who are new to the series, those are called stalkers. But what they used to say in the old game was, you know, oh, there's that invisible bitch again. Because you know, that's what they are, they're invisible bitches. So. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Okay, now that's a siren right there. When it's screaming. And the big monkey right there, that big monster, he is a husk. He shoots fire. And on later levels, he actually gets a full blown flamethrower. So, see when it keeps clicking like that? There's a new thing where it'll, it'll actually lock on it. You can see right there, it'll lock. Use this way to check people's health. Just hit tab. Everyone's doing pretty good. But I'm not going to pass it pre healing, you know? So, Lancelor needs health. So, there we go. Alright, everybody's good. Hit Q to heal. Alright, so we don't have enough for much. We're going to sell this. So we can get the SMG, go ahead and auto-fill what we got. On, no Only thing we didn't get pi eh, we got a little bit low on pistol ammo, but it's not a big deal. Now for the rest of the round, I want to stick close to my group, but I also want to run around and search. See, right there, boom. Before the round ends, you want to run around and check all the spots. For kind of for ammo, you want to find weapons, because you can actually hold a lot of stuff now. Let me see if I can find my group. This isn't exactly difficult. Okay, that's kind of difficult. But it's not super, super ridiculous. Oh my god. No, I can't handle it. There it goes. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, well, you're going to power down me some money. Or you're going to do it. Oh. oh, just in time. Yeah. That's how we do it. I was going to see, because I'm higher level, I actually get a boost to my armor. I don't know if it, it doesn't say, yeah, it's right there, armor bonus. So I get a 6% armor bonus. Every level, I gain 3% extra, so. You can see, there's new ways for them to get in, too. And that's another way they said they are going to bump the difficulty up, was by giving them all new paths into getting to the people in the game, so. I think that's really cool that they're doing that. They've made the game more difficult without completely making it too difficult. And it doesn't feel like they just tacked on a bunch of stuff. Like they said they didn't want enemies to be bullet sponges. And I'm glad that they didn't do that. Because if they had, it might have been a bit meh. It would have been kind of lackluster. Because then it wouldn't have actually filled like real difficulty. And this is the new Scrake. Look at that big motherfucker. Now, you might notice I've shot two darts. You can shoot about one to two darts per weapon. But after that, you have to reload. But if I go back to my pistol, see? Good as new. And you'll probably notice something that's amazing right now. When you keep hearing it clicking like I was talking about earlier, the healing darts now tra uh, track. Whenever you hear that, dee -dee -dee -dee, or you see it kind of going over someone, see, they don't need to be healed, so they're not going to show me anything like that. When that little thing shows up, it'll actually latch on to them, and the dart will auto-track. and It'll go straight to them and heal them automatically. And just listen to how good that, that weapon sounds. It's so much harder to see stalkers now, too. I mean, it is legitimately difficult to see them. See, I wasn't aiming at them, but I still hit them. I love that change. That was one of my biggest complaints about being a medic, was that it was so difficult. And it will let you know if someone actually needs to be healed instead of just having to guess. Like, hmm, does he need some health? I think he might need some health. See, he needs health, but it's locked on. It's not playing a lot of music right now. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let's take that. I said you should always be looking around for armor, weapons, because after an after a round, all the stuff resets. It'll all go down. Also, they took it out to where you actually have to wait for the animation now, so let's see what I can sell. We can sell this. Hmm. I can drop my pistol soon, but I want to hold on to it until I can get a shotgun or definitely the assault rifle. But for right now, we can autofill and we can wait to the next round. So, I said apologize if you can hear my keyboard or my mouse. I had to get a new mouse because they broke my old one, unfortunately. 
And on top of that, I have to use this kind of louder mouse pad until I get a new one. Because without this, I can't, I, I just can't use it. When it's on the other side, the other part of my mouse pad is kind of rubbery. So because of that, it's, it, it doesn't recognize the tracking laser, I guess, what I want to call it. The point is it doesn't treat, it doesn't track it. And it's a real issue I have. No, oh, I'm, I'm. Oh. Alright, drop a weapon. How do you drop a weapon? Where is drop weapon next with me? Toggle throw weapon backspace, really? Oh god. He's on me. Yeah, the flesh powder will completely fuck you up. Now, those grenades will actually heal and deal damage. So they are a just an amazing thing to have. Oh, God. We got a big mother like this. Oh, God. It's always good to stand near them. Okay, I'm not gonna use it anymore. Sometimes you just gotta brute force him. Look at how good that looks. Oh, bloody hell, it is scrake. Oh, this is not good. Oh, look at that laser beam, though. Aim for the head if you can. This is why it's always good to have two medic weapons so you can switch between them very quickly. I personally like having SMG and assault rifle, though that can be a bit of an issue because if you have the SMG and the assault rifle, it means, yeah. See, they're both considered primaries, so. Oh god. Oh man, if he wouldn't run from me, he would have lived. But as you can see, the monsters and the Zeds do not fuck around anymore. They will destroy you. Alright, so now we can get this. Let's see, you want to sell this? You don't need that anymore. Let's sell... This, you don't need this anymore. Give that back to him because I don't need it. Oh god, that's a problem. Do we have anything we can sell? Oh crap, I should have kept that. Oh wait, no, wait, there's a weapon over there. Maybe I can grab this, whatever this is. Katana, good, I could probably sell that for armor. This is why it's always important to be watching around and checking. You can also ask, you know, allies to send you some stuff, give you some ammo and armor and stuff. Well, not ammo, but they can give you armor. If they, well, technically, yeah, they can. If you have a high level support, at least level five, then yes, you can actually have them give you ammo now. Which is really helpful, especially since ammo right now is extremely scarce. Oh, good, ammo. But like I said, they've also increased the drops of these. These things show up everywhere now. Okay, there's m that's money right there. 
What if you can get okay, so there's their achievements. This is gonna play on beginner, but Okay, apparently we're seeing it. Oh god. Oh, it's a problem. That's a big oh yeah, that's an issue. I see your problem, you got a flush bone messing up the works. Oh hello. This goes back to that they can go up anywhere in this thing. Let's check out the assault rifle. Oh, listen to that sound. Ooh, look at that damage too. Hell yeah. Sorry, I just kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, that desaturation was such a good idea. Something big is coming, and it's very angry. Oh, the front flip headshot. Wait, is there another one? Oh, fuck, that's a scrake. Oh, God, oh, God, it's a scrake. Oh, God, that is a scrake. It is pissed off at me. I didn't do it. I promise I didn't do it. Oh, God, heal me, please, heal me, please. Heal me, please. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Oh, thank you, Yushin. Whoever the hell is healing me. I'm trying to see if I can throw a nade down there for him. As you can see, the assault rifle can pull off three darts before it gets reset, so. This is why upgrading the assault rifle is always a smart idea. Now, I haven't used the shotgun extensively myself, but the assault rifle is my favorite. My favorite classes are commando and medic, so. Knowing that the assault rifle is so good is a real boost for me. It's not only is it good damage wise. Oh my god, just look at that. Don't look at that, that was horrible. <laughs> I will admit that beeping sound does get a little annoying after a while. But aside from that, it's not that bad to deal. Also, look at this. See all this stuff on the ground? I want you to look at this. This blood will never disappear. It will stay forever. See it all? It never goes away. It permanently stains everything red. Red Rob. Red Rob. <laughs> I think it's one of the coolest things. Everyone asking for a game that just keeps the gore everywhere in the bodies all the time. And I'm glad they don't keep the bodies because that would just utterly destroy. Oh, that's right, I can sell this. Okay. I can get an extra pistol, which is always nice. And you're actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Throw some dosh to some people. Just to come now the reason I did this was because it's an easy way. I can hit one to bounce between these. This is two, three darts, and this is another two darts. You cannot sell your normal pistol, it just won't let you. Don't try. And as you hear tab, see commandos are probably going to let this kid do a lot of damage. I'm not doing too bad considering I joined late though. I'm loving the fact that the ping in these games are amazing. I've never had such an amazing fucking ping. I just haven't. As you see, I got a varmint rifle. You can change by pressing the middle mouse button on these weapons from semi-auto to auto. And this bad boy on auto is just amazing. And as you can see, it is so much harder to see them now. Ooh, blasted her head off right at the right moment. And then I can switch back to semi-auto whenever I need to. Okay, they're good. I'm gonna use the, uh, the varmint rifle just because I have it right now. Oh, that's a very bad sound. That is such a bad sound. Now, ammo will always give you one clip. Every time. It's one clip of ammo for... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Flush pound. Best way to stop a flush pound is honestly just line aside them. But they can jump now. So, yeah, there's that. As you can see, he is very angry at me. 
I'm gonna pop a heal right now just because he's gonna start pounding on me hard. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, remember when I said I'm a magnet for these things? I don't know if I said that, but yeah, I'm a magnet for these things. They love me. This is the second game in a row where I've had double flush pound. Focus me and then kill me. Well, hopefully I can handle it. The best way to deal with him is honestly just to spam your grenades and just blast them away. But unfortunately, when you play with some randoms, you're not exactly 100% coordinated, so... But it looks like they did manage to get them down. Unfortunately, I was the casualty. If I would have known there was two, I would have dipped. It was my fault, so... Oh, looks like we're about to lose Obi Juan Kenobi. But here's some cool with the spectator mode, of course. Just like the other one, you can change how the camera works. You can go to this. There's a way to get area. We can get free-floating, so we can watch... Uh, Sexy Matasano die. Ooh, look at that Z time. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, he, he might not die. Ooh, Matasano. Keeping alive. Nice job, buddy. Let's go check it on Ghost. Ghost is doing good. Spraying down some witches. Sirens. I always do that. And there's my poor medic gun. Oh, my poor SMG. Now, I don't know if I can pick it up after I'm done, but yeah. One thing I really love about the medic class especially is that they're, everything they have glows. Like, everything they do glows. Every gun they could possibly pick up is glowy. You see, my pistol glows, my knife glows, everything glows. Oh, I do. Oh, you picked it up. Never mind. Just a bit. Okay, let's get in here. Okay, maybe my gun is still here. I don't think it is because I think after a wave ends, it's... <gasps> no way! It might be, is it? Yeah, it is. I got my SMG back. Nice! Oh, not a total loss. Not a total loss. Hopefully I can get back and at least get something. I can probably afford to... I don't know, I can't afford jack shit. Oh, perfect. Nice. So there's armor. Okay, let's sell this. Nice. Thank you so much for just giving me that. Alright, so we got a pistol, we got SMGs, we were all set. If I had enough money, I could actually get an SMG. So you could have so- you can have so- many things now it's insane and this is the new boss i think it's kurt wagner or something like that he is a one he's a hundred he's a hundred year old nazi scientist or something but i love him because he sounds like rick dolphin i mean that's just amazing what the hell is my oh god i accidentally sold my smg Unfortunately, I got held out. Oh, fuck me. Why? Oh, man. God, that gas is so much damage. As you can see, he does not fuck around. He... It's a very difficult boss to fight. Yeah, he has nerve gas. He has three phases too. When his armor changes, his armor changes, he's going into a new phase. He'll throw out smoke and then he'll jump on someone. Here's an easy way to get damage. He also heals in that phase. Oh shit, that was the grenades. Unfortunately, I have to dip for a little bit. No, don't run for me, don't run for me, don't run for me, no, 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 no. 
And he ran for me. Oh, bloody hell. It was bad because he had to eviscerate her too. Oh, Lord. Yep, she's going down another phase. That's a grenade, 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 oh god, that's very bad. God, I need ammo. Oh fuck. Like I said, when you don't have ammo, it's... These rear pistols come in handy though. Oh man, we gotta get ammo. If we had a level 5 support, we might be able to get some ammo off of him, but unfortunately we don't. Oh god. Oh, we are so fucked. He's in the last phase now, but unfortunately... I gotta heal. I have no idea if I'm gonna do this. On bone. Ah, damn. <sighs> but, well, that was him down to his last roster phase, but we just lost way too many people at the end there, unfortunately. So, anyway, this is Killing Four Two. I'll probably be doing a few more videos about this, but for now, I'm here to the grave. It feels really good to be back. I'm sorry I wasn't really talking much. It got kind of intense, but, you know, I'm glad to be back. I hope y'all are happy to have me back. So, you know, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Welcome to town, everyone.